Today, we will be going over how to wrap the bumper of a Corvette C8 with Vicres PPF Protective Film Wrap. These are gonna be your installation solutions. So in the blue bottle, we've got 10 ounces of 70% isopropyl alcohol and the remainder is just regular water. In the other bottle, we've got hot water and about three to four drops of Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo. Um, this is gonna be your slip solution, which is gonna allow your film to move freely. And this will be your tack solution, which will tack your film in place. So we're gonna be dry rolling the bumper on. This bumper will require two people. You're gonna have one person unrolling the bumper onto the car, and then the other one's gonna hold it up, make sure it doesn't sag or fall to the floor. So we're gonna start with the driver's side first with your pre-cut kit. Um, you're gonna start pulling off one corner and you're going to tack it onto the so pull one side up, just take your slip solution, and then we're going to start tacking this, and you're gonna pull. So I'm holding it in place as he's pulling, and in that process, you're basically reverse rolling your pre-cut kit. Uh, the placement doesn't matter just yet, since we're laying the film. So we're going to lay all of our film in place. You're gonna peel the rest off, dry. As you're pulling, you wanna spray your slip solution. And then you're gonna go ahead and grab the remainder of your film, and then you're just gonna lay it down. So because this is a pre-cut piece, everything pretty much lines up. So where your front uh, grill area is, you're gonna have your cutouts, everything sits up top. And then, so your film doesn't set, you're gonna pick it up, spray some of your slip solution under the film. Make sure everything moves freely. You wanna spray everything but your corners. Keeping your corners dry is basically what's gonna help you hold your bumper up while you work from one side to the other. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our driver side. So once we've got that moving freely, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up our film, line up our edges. So now this is where you wanna grab your tack solution, spray your film, spray where you're gonna lay, line up your corners, and then you wanna grab your squeegee, tack that corner down. So now we're gonna set our bottom edge, line it up with your inside wheel liner area. Go ahead and let that set, hold it in place a couple seconds and spray some, some tack solution. And you wanna work your way from top to bottom. So for these channeled areas where you have that air pocket, you wanna spray some tack solution all the way up there. And with one hand, swipe motion straight down and then follow it with your squeegee, all while keeping everything lined up. And then you just wanna work your way down. So some areas are gonna require some stretching, so make sure you get your slip solution sprayed under that film, spray your tack, line up your film, hold it in place, and now it's not going anywhere. And then just repeat that same process. Spray your film. And I'm just gonna lay that film down. Now we're gonna work our way towards the center. You're gonna start working piece by piece. Make sure your film is moving freely. And you're gonna spray some tack where you're gonna tack, which is usually the top points. Spray some slip solution. So you can move your film. Now we're just gonna pick the film up from the bottom, spray some tack, work our way down. So now we're gonna peel this part back since we got the bottom lined up. Spray our tack. Our squeegee, overlapping our strokes. Just gonna work our way back up. For our adhesive sets, we're gonna spray some slip solution under our film.
I remember you want to spray everything but the corners that are holding your film in place so we don't run that risk of it falling on the floor. Going to spray our corner. Hold it down. Squeegee, hold it down. Now we're going to work with our top part. So here we're going to see our film is moving freely. Line up our corners. Line up our edges. Make sure everything's set. And here we're going to spray our tech solution. Pull it, get rid of all that tension. Let it sit. Now we're going to squeegee it out. And then you wanna spray your slip solution with hot water bottom so we're going to be stretching this towards the top now we can spray the top with our tack solution once that's in place grab your squeegee make sure everything's lined up which it is everything's good to go for the other side so we're just going to continue making our way over lift your film up spray some tack solution Pulling, you want to squeegee down while at the same time holding it down. I want to spray some tack under our film, line up our edges, squeegee down the center. Okay, now we're going to grab tack solution, spray it down that the deep part of your body lines. All right, so there's a couple options for pre cut kit if you like to debadge your vehicles you can opt for the non-cutout but in this case we have a cutout so we can we can pull it off or we can leave it on if you plan on putting the emblem back on you just peel this off and it gives you basically your placement to have it dead center as if it came from factory all right now we're gonna work towards the other top side so we're gonna grab some slip solution spray it towards the middle make sure our film is moving freely then we grab our tack solution spray our film, spray our corner. Now we're going to pull it, hold it in place, get rid of all those air pockets, make sure we have no dry spots. And we're going to squeegee, lock down the bottom, make sure we have no water running down, work our way to the top. Overlapping our strokes with the squeegee. Okay, there's a finger here, so grab our tack solution, squeegee, hold. Squeegee hold. Now we're moving on to the other side. Here we are going to lift and spray tack solution. I'm sorry, slip solution. So in this case, you wanna pull off everything but the top piece of your inner grill so your film doesn't fall. Spray the bottom piece of our film with tack. Flush out your slip solution down there. That down, line it up with the bottom. Hold it for a couple seconds. Now your film's gonna move freely up top. For our film. This recessed area right here, same process as the other side. Flush out your slip solution. So now with your squeegee, get rid of all that tack solution. So pull this up, grab your tack solution. our way to the bottom so now we can pull this top piece off we're gonna spray all of this with slip squeegee the slip off from here give you those dry spots spray your tack and we're going to stretch that's tacked now we have to worry about the top which is good so we've got all that lined up now and we just spray our tack solution down here hold it for a couple seconds start squeegeeing your tack solution down here Tack solution, line it up, squeegee. So you've pretty much got all of your water squeegeed out. See any excess water, go over it again. It's your squeegee. All right, so pretty much done squeegeeing. We're gonna let the top edges dry out a bit so we can seal them with the heat gun. Basically the next step, you want to grab microfiber towel, wipe it down, check for any 
leftover moisture. Grab your tack solution, seal the bottom edges. So we're gonna work our way back to this side. Lift up our edges. Flush out all your slip solution. All right, once we've got that, all we have left is pretty much let the edges dry out so we can seal them. There might be some trimming necessary because of all the stretching we did. But other than that, just let your edges dry out so we can hit it with the heat gun. But that's pretty much the install part for the C8 front bumper. All right, um, so we've completed the install on the pre-cut kit for the C8 Corvette. This is after doing your uh, necessary trimming, heating on all your edges. If you do have any leftover moisture or water bubbles, um, and it's very minimal, give it 24 to 48 hours to set overnight. Almost always it'll evaporate, but in the case that it doesn't, then you just go ahead and grab a syringe, poke the water and extract all the excess. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the C8 Corvette bumper.